So you probably heard the president say some encouraging things about several potential treatments for COVID-19 being evaluated right now by the medical community. Yeah, but that optimism is coming at a price as well. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with the good and the bad behind the hope that's now being offered. Hi, Doc. Hey guys, yeah, so the drugs chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, they've been around for a very long time, and they have important and very well-tested benefits against malaria, as well as autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. But what we do not know is whether they would be effective against COVID-19. The idea of using either chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine against COVID-19 came from old test tube research that found them effective against the SARS virus. More recent research has also found that in a test tube, the drugs were effective against the new SARS-CoV-2 virus, which offered a glimmer of hope. But that doesn't mean it would be effective in humans. The premature enthusiasm has created problems. An Arizona man recently died when he took the chloroquine he had that was meant to clean his aquarium. Yesterday, poison control centers issued warnings about self-medicating with these drugs. Even the pills meant for people have potentially serious side effects, including heart rhythm abnormalities, anemia, and even blindness with long-term use. Now, another big problem that has occurred is that people have started hoarding these medications, creating short supply for people with autoimmune problems who need them on a regular basis. Now, this problem isn't only limited to lay people. Numerous warnings have gone out to physicians that it is inappropriate to self-prescribe or write prescriptions for family members. Yeah, and so based on a very small and a very preliminary study from France, the combination of hydroxychloroquine and Zithromax is currently being focused on, and many centers are testing them, particularly in very sick patients. Of note, though, there is already a different preliminary study of only hydroxychloroquine that did not find any benefit. So the bottom line is, more research is needed, and any large-scale use of these medications alone or in combination is just incredibly premature at this time. Yeah, and Doc, you mentioned the potential side effects of hydroxychloroquine. Uh, what about that combination uh, when you talk about Zithromax? Yeah, well, so... The combination of hydroxychloroquine and Zithromax particularly actually increases the risk of a heart rhythm abnormality. So I realize a lot of people have taken one or both of these medications in their life and they may see no harm in just trying them. But as I always say, if there is an effect, there is a side effect. Mm -hmm. And the current premature enthusiasm threatens both the supply for people who really need the medications, but also really exposes people to actual risk. Back oh. to you. All right. Thanks, Doc.